When people tune into Gold Rush, much of the focus is on the primary personalities of the show, typically the leaders such as Parker Schnabel. However, it's essential to consider the contributions of his team members who might not receive as much screen time but play crucial roles in maintaining operations. These individuals ensure the mine's water systems are functional, machines are operational, and various other tasks are managed. Parker Schnabel's dedicated employees perform a multitude of responsibilities on site. When it comes to transparency regarding the compensation provided to his team, Parker Schnabel doesn't shy away. He openly discusses and shares information about the remuneration he offers to his employees. On Gold Rush, The Dirt, Parker Schnabel casually revealed to host Christo Doyle that he compensates his employees with a sum of 140 grand for their six-month stint in the mining operation. These employees under Parker Schnabel's wing enjoy a substantial income for a relatively short period of work, precisely $140,000. While this figure might appear quite attractive, it's important to note that gold mining doesn't adhere to the usual confines of a typical 9-to-5 job. As pointed out by a Reddit fan, it could be more accurate to describe this arrangement as condensing 18 months' worth of work into just 6 months. Additionally, there's speculation that the currency mentioned might be in Canadian dollars rather than USD. Regardless, the $140,000 serves as a baseline salary, augmented by performance-based bonuses earned by the crew for their contributions to the mining operation. Thus, this figure serves as a rough estimate rather than an absolute number. Nonetheless, it presents an enticing remuneration for individuals seeking a venture outside the ordinary. Parker Schnabel provided clarity on Reddit regarding his initial workforce, sharing that they dedicate approximately 75 hours per week to their tasks, earning an average rate of about $34 per hour. These employees typically gather around $40,000 for their demanding role in operating rock trucks, a profession characterized by its arduous nature and time-intensive demands. Given these circumstances, it's not surprising that Parker believes that the only resource you truly expend is time. The demands of the gold rush crews throughout the mining season are extensive. According to Schnabel, an eight-hour workday falls short in achieving the necessary outcomes. We usually work seven to seven, but as the year progresses, the darkness at 7 in the morning is too much, so we shift to a schedule like 8 to 7," Schnabel elaborated. While this may seem like a rigorous daily routine, it's essential to recognize that the Gold Rush teams can only access the mine sites for a 7-month window in the year. From March to October, these employees invest their full efforts into their work. However, once November arrives, the ground temperature drops and water sources start freezing, leading to a five-month hiatus for the teams. During this break, they tend to their weary muscles and catch up on much-needed rest. Nevertheless, Parker's employees are expected to adhere to specific regulations. There are certain aspects that Parker firmly believes are non-negotiable, and the primary two reasons he outlined are typical standards seen in most occupations. The initial point he raised encompasses factors such as refraining from alcohol and drug misuse during work hours, maintaining punctuality, returning promptly from days off, treating company equipment and vehicles responsibly, and fundamentally adhering to the essential work guidelines within the camp. Moreover, the crew members not only receive their regular compensation and performance-based bonuses, but they also have the opportunity to supplement their income through discovery. For instance, individuals who work within Parker's crew can potentially participate in and appear on Gold Rush. The compensation per episode falls within a range of $10,000 to $25,000. To illustrate, Jack Hoffman, among others, reportedly earns about $10,000 for each episode. I wouldn't suggest investing your entire life savings into mining. However, if you're considering taking up a seasonal job in the field, it's not too challenging to find opportunities. There's a substantial job market in both the Yukon and Alaska. So, why not give it a try? You have nothing more than time to risk, remarked Parker. Would you be one of Parker Schnabel's employees?